welcome to Jory Land 1892. Um, <laughs> transfer stories all over the place, isn't there? Um, there's a lot going on. Um, I woke up this morning um, and uh, to be honest, I didn't know what to make of uh, the Correa della Sport uh, in Italy. Um, basically, uh, Lincoln, Newcastle United uh, with a move um, for Lorenzo um, Pellegrini. Uh, 50 million, apparently 60 million euros. Um, I don't know, I just absolutely scratched my head. Um, for me, this is just sensationalism uh, and uh, it's it's basically um, whoever came up with this one I think I think that it's, it's a bridge too far um, I really can't see uh, Lorenzo Pellegrini moving to Newcastle um, he's done quite quite a lot for AS Roma this season um, you know guiding them to that win in the Europa Conference League uh, in the final, he done well. He scored twice for his country just lately. Once against Hungary, uh, once against Germany. Um, and apparently, you know, AS Roma are not even willing to comment about it. Um, it it's just a, it, it looks like a shut shop. So I don't know the the journalist that's come out with this. I don't know where he's getting this from. Uh, it might be that Newcastle uh, have inquired about him. Uh, but I really cannot ever see this happening. Uh, just literally um, days ago, um, they were talking about um, giving Pellegrini, who is the captain of AS Roma, uh, the number 10 shirt. He plays in the number 7 shirt at the minute, plays in midfield. And uh, they were talking about giving him the number 10 shirt, the famous number 10 shirt of Francesco Totti, um, who obviously is retired now, but... Um, the fans have given that thumbs up apparently so um i really think that that is a nonsense story uh so don't get excited about that um like i say it was also reported in the evening chronicle as well this morning um i kind of scanned a little bit after i seen the courier de la sport uh, thing it was on the front page um other news apparently about Sven Botman is that obviously Newcastle have uh, upped the ante and uh, they're talking about a 30 million deal now for Sven Botman. Um, it does seem that the Rossoneri, uh, AC Milan, um, doesn't seem that they're going to stamp up that kind of cash for him. Um, so it kind of looks like that we're leading the race to sign him at the minute. Now, obviously yesterday, uh, was caught caught unaware really um caught off guard and uh matty target uh signed for newcastle four-year deal uh he did his medical yesterday uh i think that's just you know obviously he had to do a second medical because he was signing for a permanent contract um but i am very happy about that signing uh even though on the last video that i made um you know i was talking a lot about lodi uh, Atletico Madrid but it seems Atletico Madrid have upped the ante up the price uh, on Lodi and um, in all all truth like I, I really didn't see my target signing for Newcastle uh, I honestly believed uh, from what I read uh, I believed that his family were going to be happier uh, in the south of England and um, it just shows doesn't it how um, you know you, you can read and lots of things are spinned and uh, but for me, fantastic signing. He's proven that he's that he's a really good player. He's a really good talent. He's worked hard at Newcastle United in his loan spell. Um, I still don't understand why Aston Villa didn't want to keep him. But um, listen, he's our player now, and uh, that I think that's absolutely fantastic uh, news that Matty Target has signed for Newcastle United. Um, he would have been my first choice every time. Um, but I honestly didn't think it was going to happen. So it's it's strange, isn't it? Just how some names, um, things come out of nowhere and you're proved wrong. Um, so for me, I mean, I, that that puts Lodi out of the picture now. Uh, we've signed a left back and a very talented one at that. 
All right, so also yesterday uh, was the unveiling of the Newcastle United home shirt for this season. Um, that caught me unaware as well uh, because uh, I honestly believed it was going to be uh, tomorrow, Friday, that that was going to be unveiled. Um, some uh, nice, uh, nice promotion pictures there with the lads and the lasses. Um, obviously, uh, the leaked kit, it's absolutely no different to what we've seen from the leaked kit, uh, but I think it's a really, really nice top. Um, it's uh, it's been a while since I've bought a current kit. Uh, I just haven't really liked them, uh, to be fair. And uh, in the past, obviously, I haven't bought certain strips, especially I uh, completely uh, put a ban on buying them when we had the Wonga sponsor. Uh, I really didn't want to know. Uh, I thought that was absolute sacrilege putting that on the front of our shirt. Um, but there you go. Um, but obviously, misinformation, I suppose, really, because uh, I, I thought the Fun 88 uh, sponsor was due to come to an end uh, at the end of this month, but it turns out I was wrong. And uh, that's the sponsor that's on the shirt, uh, Fun 888. It looks really nice, actually. Um, it really goes with the castor on 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 the on the on the on the chest here. Um, I hope the numbers are not going to be red this year. I hope they maybe go gold or maybe even the same colour blue on the back. Uh, I think it'll look nicer. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the red numbers on the kits. Um, but honestly, uh, I, I'm I'm bowled over with that shirt. Uh, I will be buying that. Um, it's quite dear, like. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, quite an expensive uh, kit, but uh, that's that's uh, the story all over now. Where uh, football kits are getting dearer and dearer, but um, yeah, I will be buying it. I think it's lovely. Uh, I, I much prefer. I didn't really like last season's um, with a four there. What looked like a four. Um, so. <clears throat> With the, with the kit being leaked, obviously, um, it was interesting to see whether there was any differences on it. I mean, obviously, it is um, going representing the 130 years of Newcastle United as well. It's got that on the kit. Um, but the away kits, uh, I, I think at this point, what we've seen leaked, I think it is going to be those kits, the white one and the blue one. I think the white one will look something like this. Uh, pretty easy. Um, I do think that uh, the fun AD will be in green. It would look really strange if they put it in blue, wouldn't it? Um, but there you go, the unveiling of the kit. And um, obviously, you can't buy it right now. You can pre order it, but um, you won't get it until 4th of July. Um, and I would imagine you would be able to purchase it from the store uh, from the 4th of July. Um, Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait till I get back uh, because over here uh, with the Brexit, um, they they put a, a, a customs tax on anything you buy from the UK. Uh, so it ends up costing about the same price again as the shirt. So, uh, you know, or thereabouts, um, Shah on the other side of the channel who talks about Celtic, uh, he ordered quite a lot of Celtic stuff this year or this season. And, um, you know, they were not, he was paying something like £60 extra just in customs tax. Uh, it's a bit disgraceful, really. Um, so I will be waiting to, for somebody to go back and pick me one up or when I get there myself. Um, so anyway, it was just a short video. Um, obviously, that that uh, stunned me this morning um, about Pellegrini. Um, Anybody who's out there who's thinking that we're going to sign him, I mean, I honestly think uh, the chance of us signing him at the minute is zero. Uh, I really don't think Roma or uh, Mourinho would let him go. Um, and like I say, he's a big fan's favourite at the minute and, and up for the number 10 shirt, you know. So, um, all in all, uh, from me, I hope, you know, uh, everybody's fine, everybody's well out there and uh, you know i'll be putting bits and bobs up as it goes uh, please remember to hit the like button uh, please remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, from geordieland 1892 uh, from me keeper uh, all the best <laughs>